Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Reef machine in FL Studio. First, you have to select a sound generator. I'm just going to be using Citrus for this tutorial. Next, go to the piano roll. Then it all depends on what you want to create. If it's a melody, a chord progression, different things like that. So I'm going to start out with a chord progression. So I'm going to choose a note. Then you have to select the timing. I'm going to make it four bars. Then head over to this tool icon here. Then select the riff machine. So by default, everything will be turned, all tabs will be turned on. You have to turn them off yourself. So I'm going to start out with a chord. Next, you want to make sure this work on existing score is on. If it's not on, it's just going to pick any random notes and work on that note for you but you have to pick work on existing score if you want to work on that e3 notes you've selected next there are different type of chords here you can choose choose from I'm just going to use the minor chord sounds like this now i want to create a progression with this minor chord I'm going to select progression tab. I'm going to turn on the progression tab. There are also different um, patterns for this progression tab. You can just select the one you want. You can see it changing as you select it here in the folder. So I'm just going to select this one. can change the time mean to make it fit into different bars so you can just tweak the time knob like that So, if you are satisfied with the chord progression you have, you can head over to other um, tabs like Mirror. This flips um, the chord progression vertically or horizontally. So, you have something like this. So, with this, since it started with two bars at the beginning, it's going to flip it to two bars at the end. So what you want to do with this is turn off this. Turn preserve start time off. So it just flips it perfectly. I think I'm satisf satisfied with that. So next you want to go over to another tab. Then this, this just gives it humanizes your um, chord. It just gives it your. It just adding your style the way you want it to be. So everything is not just too digital. So you can add random panning for different chords at different points. And random velocities for each note in a chord. change other tabs like that so i think i'm okay with that then you can go over to this and this like it adjusts the starts the end time of the um chords so you can just do like that then this gives it like a fine tune it fine tunes it like that So this gives different end times to each note in each chord. So I think I'm satisfied with that. 
the next you want to head over to the groove tab then this makes you input your playing style so you can just tweak the knobs and play around with it and see and see what you want it just gives you and this is the basic thing that works here just like it adds more to the um art tab so let's just Next, this fit tab just it makes you set the like the highest points a note and lowest points a note can go so you can just restrict a note to some particular scales so you can restrict it to the major so it snaps to the major scale so i'm just going to select none for that I'm not going to use the fit tab so I'm okay with this chord progression so I'm just going to select accept now I can adjust different things myself Okay, now I like this chord progression. Next, what I can do is clone this and copy what I have here. This point. And now I want to create an app. So I go to Riff Map. I turn everything off. And select work on existing score if you don't have work on existing score on it will just give you a random note to use a random to pick any random notes for you to use i'm just going to turn on the app tab so there are different patterns here you can use I think I like that. Um, this normal, I, what it does is that, okay, let me just use a single note. So once you set the range, normal puts like it slides the um the up up. Yeah, this normal slides the um, up or then the flip slides it down slides the, it down brings it down progresses it down then the um, alternate just does both together to adjust um, the timing of this of this app so I go to the art tab Thank you. 
then the progression just adds a progression to the app. Then you can. I think I'm okay with that. So another thing you can do is just select, if you have no ideas on what to do, you can just select any note. But just select the riff machine traits. Then on, um, on check, work on exit and just keep clicking this throw dice and it just gives you random things from all the tabs until you have something you're interested in then if you want to create a chord progression you can just turn this off then select random you can turn the app off Select random, just true dice, true dice. That's a good one right there. I think this is everything on the Reef Machine. Um, yeah. So I believe you should be able to use the Reef Machine better now. If you have any questions about this, I'm leaving in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video. And if you know someone that needs the video, you can share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And yeah. Thanks for watching and peace.